so i've got to the point now where all my dms are filled with what happened to your defender when are you going to get her back on the road woman driver just anything like that you name it it's in my comments or dms so i thought i'd address this with a whole video as to any questions you may have i put a question thing on instagram any questions you have about the defender and what the hell happened um so I'm going to start off with saying, I'm going to insert a picture here of her in a fully okay state. Um, so I bought a Defender with a Cummings engine in, a uh, 5.9 litre, um, in september would have been september of 2023 so not even long ago um a little bit of a treat a little bit of toy and so didn't really have that many pictures of her didn't go out in her much there was some stuff we needed to have done and we took her to a friend of ours and he did all the work and we picked her up on christmas eve now on christmas eve we took her up to my family in Somerset as my stepdad wanted to see her and what have you and the crash happened the crash um so I wasn't actually even driving I'm gonna start off there it was not me driving so anyone coming at me with woman driver wasn't even me driving and the person to blame I'm gonna start off there the person to blame was a male to have that um so yeah that's what happened i have obviously gone through insurance we had the police there and whatnot there are still some things to be cleared up with the insurance so i'm not going to go into like full details because i don't know what i'm allowed to like say and not say um i have video footage i know some of you have seen the video um I'm obviously not going to post it because it's still going through insurance anyway. But long story short, there was you, whoever was driving, I mean, fucking Lewis Hamilton, it still would have happened. Like, if I was driving, I somehow think it would be 10 times worse and I wouldn't have been as calm. So, probably good that I wasn't even in the car. It was my partner and my stepdad and hot luck my step stepdad was filming at the time i didn't have a dash cam nothing like that he literally just fil was filming like not even five seconds before just to send to his mates he was literally filming it five seconds in the crash happened um like i said i don't know how much detail i can go into but somebody pulled out i think i'm fully entitled to say that somebody pulled out um and like, you, what can you do? You don't expect anyone to pull out. There was no way you could dodge it. Um, yeah. So, as for the questions as to what's going to happen with her next. I know everyone's saying, are you selling her parts? Please let me buy her. It ain't going to happen. No, it's just not. Like, got the money from the insurance to redo her Um before everyone goes on about you should do this that this we've got someone coming on saturday um to come and have a look he was the one who had her on christmas eve we picked her up on christmas eve um so he knows what she looked like before and what have you obviously we might make some changes i don't know um i talk about it like it's a we and a person just because my partner loves her just as much and i don't know why she's she is a she she is a she. I don't know why. Most vehicles are a she. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to insert some videos now. Um, as for the damage. Literally makes me want to cry.
it has taken me two and a half months to just get her back to the farm let alone to actually have any work done obviously she will be going back on the road there is no doubt about that obviously and i was like start off with a galvanized chassis of course we will she had a galvanized chassis beforehand so of course we're going to start off there um it's mainly going to come down to what matey wants to do with it um he knows his coming vehicles best to be honest um engine all looks fine from what we've seen we haven't tried to start her nothing we've literally had her delivered and that is it i'd also like to use this as a sign if you have modified your car this is your sign to get the everything insured the crash was like i said you couldn't avoid it um we didn't take her out much we barely did any miles that was the first longer than 20 minute journey we had taken her on um and that's when it happened so <laughs> this is your sign to get everything insured she was ridiculous to insure she was four and a half grand um i'm not gonna sway away from that it was ridiculous and it pro all insurance is ridiculous now but what's most important that we got i got paid out um if i didn't have that and i listed everything that's probably why it was so expensive also a girl owning 5.9 meter defender modified they ain't gonna like it i so struggled to get insurance but i actually ended up going through adrian flux who then they are a broker for other people and i think it was er ers they've done it that i'm still insured with them they have been apart from the delays it's taken to get it back they have been mega helpful all the guys were lovely when we had that whole mix up they got back to me as soon as they could um the best thing is they have never taken long i wouldn't say i've ever been on hold longer than 15 minutes when i first rang up which is the main thing i think it took over like two hours when i first sort of did everything but i was like look i've never put in a claim before like i, I don't know what i'm doing and they talked me through everything obviously i pay for it all myself this isn't a paid thing i know adrian flux do some paid stuff but literally it was the only person i could get insurance with so i was beyond grateful for them but yes if you had me on tiktok you know there was quite a story as to getting her delivered now they told me that she was delivered she was not there was a huge mix up and basically they led me to believe that my car had been delivered to the address that i put and it hadn't so i know a few of you have seen that video but two days later she got delivered um but the panic was unreal to be honest there's nothing more i can really comment other than the pictures um there's nothing more to add we've got adam coming saturday to have a look to be honest we just need his opinion more than anyone cuts i don't know what i'm doing i'm not mechanically minded i've said this enough there's not going to be a series as to rebuilding her or anything i'm not mechanically minded i ain't got the time and yeah people would say it's a good time to learn but he's local to us but not local local so therefore i just don't have the time so um i will do updates if you want to see it but yeah that's pretty much it for this but it's just a way of updating people on what happened on my defender bit of a longer sort of video explaining like explaining too much and the insurance bollocking me but um i'm gonna be off at cheltenham when i post this so hopefully you've all got your bets on i know i will be i'm not drinking so i said i'm gonna spend all my money on the races um we'll see how we get on but yeah i hope you enjoyed like a little update on what happened to the defender but yeah